Oh, you love to play. Oh, you love to play. Don't your comments won't relate. Sign it on my page for you. Oh, my God, he changed. Young life, I can't see back on my. I just need some brains so I could keep myself in order. He got problems, she got problems, I mean, I got 411 problems. Say hey, hi, what's up, y'all? It's time for another story time. I know, it's story time Saturday. My, Ty told me, uh, for the play cousins who know, my son name is Ty. Ty told me, he was like, man, get him a story time, y'all, because I started to drop one for y'all on Friday, but he was like, yeah, do that, do that. Like, they've been good to you, right? Our subscribers done went up and stuff. like, drop them a story sign, get them something extra. Because, you know, I was like, I wasn't going to post on the weekend because I figured y'all was out with y'all family. But, why not? So, since Instagram is, like, all the raving hype this week because of the new update, even though, like, y'all pretending, like, Twitter hasn't been the generic P-Hub around here. I'm just saying. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, so for those who know the story about Nene Brooks, and rest in peace to Little Schoon, making sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not from Chicago, nowhere near from Chicago. I just know the story. I just know the things that's going on. And I wanted to elaborate because I have a story something that's close to that because, you know, y'all have us a little different route you know it's a little different yes my story time is called the instagram setup and this just has something to do with my son now don't get me wrong there's some mamas out there some boy moms out there that's overprotective and a little dramatic but sometimes you have to be so let's get into it so this happened around 2019 This might have been like 2019. I think we had just moved in here, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, what are we going to call this little heifer? <laughs> little heifer. <laughs> little heifer. Little heifer is Latina. And shout out to my Latina sisters. It's nothing against y'all. I know y'all a little spicy. But I just need you hear me out with an open mind. So, little heifer is in this story, right? Lil Heifer and my son Cy was real cool. He he saw her like really as a sister in the beginning, but then he was kind of falling for her, and I could tell. But I can also tell when Lil Heifer was using my kid to her advantage because Lil Heifer was in a relationship. She was in an off and, off and on again relationship repeatedly. Literally, he was dragging her. He really wasn't feeling her. He was playing her. At this point in time, um, Lil Heifer is a virgin nothing wrong with that that's absolutely wonderful but he was using that against her because she wasn't ready to be intimate but he was and so since he was ready to be intimate and since she wasn't he was using that like you know as a as a play card like as a as a ploy basically it was like you know old girl over here is ready to take it to the next level you know how you know how some of you it's not even men the young boys be ready to get down with the get down around 11 or 12 to be honest Ten, to be honest so they be pressuring the young girls whether you want to admit it or not i know y'all be like oh not my kid yes your kid i used to work in pediatrics and baby they were starting at 10 10 <laughs> so it basically he was pressuring little helpful like listen old girl over here want to give me her body and you not and you not ready to prove that you love me so i'm gonna move around and so like she was going back and forth of whether she could you know whether she should give up her v cards to him or not but even with that it was like she would do certain things to like make him jealous basically and also like my son was like her listening ear all the time like anytime that she had problems with what we gonna call a little boy do i want to call him little romeo little finesse 
what I want to call you little manipulator MC cookie though <laughs> we gonna call him MC cookie though and the reason why we calling you MC cookie though because you half baked you hard on the outside and soft on the inside you a Anyway, MC Cookie though was playing it like she she was going back and forth. Anytime she had issues going on, she'd be hitting my son up. She'd be texting my son, "Oh, this is what's going on with MC Cookie though, cause MC Cookie though, like I just need to know what to do, cause I love him and I don't want to lose him." Mind you, they are in tenth grade, tenth grade, tenth grade. Clear this up right quick. So clear this up. Ty is out of school. He he had already dropped out um, of school. But um, what would I call her? Little Heifer. Little Heifer was still in school along with MC Cookie Dough. So they were in 10th grade. So that's why I was like 10th grade because they're still in school. So that's how Ty knows all of them and know of MC Cookie Dough and know Little Heifer. It's because they all went to school together. So she go back and forth with my son. So anyway, at this point in time, like her and MC Cookie Dough are beefing. MC Cookie Dough got his attention somewhere else, but he also feel the need, like even if his attention is somewhere else, he still want to control Lil Hellfuss' life. So MC Cookie Dough decided that at this point in time, he not really feeling Lil Hellfuss, right? Lil Hellfuss is losing it losing it so she's hitting my son up she's calling my son like brother what do i do and so basically my son is basically like listen if he really not feeling you like you know basically give him some time chill out like if it ain't working out it ain't working out like let it go my son also works at this point in time so he's sleep so before he takes a nap he's hitting up like me him and little heifer is talking and little heifer was like yo you haven't shown me love on instagram so i need you to go blow up my instagram go go spam my page now those who know like in order for you to be in the algorithm when that now back then the algorithm didn't change every two seconds like the algorithm changed now but back then like to get you in the algorithm like you get your homies you get your home girl you get you get your crew and it's like hey spam my page where you go hit a bunch of bunch of your pictures you like a you know you like a bunch of your posts or whatever so just give me an algorithm like get me out there put me out there shout me out shout out for shout out so to speak so she was like you haven't shown up to my page you my brother what you doing like go blow up my instagram so you asked tie to do that little heifer was like i feel some type of way because you haven't blown up my instagram so go blow up my instagram so ty go and he go blow up a spot he go like her instagram right so he went and spam her instagram got her instagrams together and lo and behold he went to sleep so when he went to sleep like he slept when ty go to sleep ty sleep when i mean sleep sleep slump he don't hear nothing i think i'm like that too no i hear you if you call me now if you text me and i love the stuff i don't hear that but i'll hear the phone calls i don't hear nothing so i don't hear his alarm he don't, he don't hear notifications he don't hear nothing so when he sleep he slump he out especially if he's really tired so while he was sleep he was sleep for a good little minute so when he woke up, like he's checking his phone. And so when he checking his phone, he looking at his phone like and he looked up at me and he looked back at his phone. And he checking his phone. He put his phone down. He turned it down like that. And he went to the bathroom. So I ain't say nothing because it's like, okay, if it's something he need me to know, like he'll shoot it to me, right? So he came out of the bathroom and he got his phone and he went outside and he went to um like the balcony walkway and because we live on the second floor so he was standing in the walkway and he was like on the phone and i was like if it's something he need me to know he'll tell me if it's something he need me to know he'll tell me so he comes back in so he says hey ma 
um, how should I take this message? He was like, okay, let me back up. Before I show you the message, like, I want you to look at it with an open mind. Mind you, Ty know me. Ty know, like, <laughs> Ty know, depending on the situation, I can get here or I can get here. Sometimes I can be here. It just depends on the situation. It depends on how it's said, where it's coming from, what you're saying, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So, he was like, but let me let me give you the backstory." So, he told me and explained to me, like, hey, little heifer told me, like, you know, I haven't liked her Instagram in a while. She wanted me to blow up her Instagram. So, I went and blowed up her Instagram before I went to sleep. Mind you, him and little heifer again, y'all, like, they got history. Like, they they they're in high school together they take classes together like they cool they see each other as brother and sister she has never really liked my kid to the next level that was more tied on his own and that didn't happen until way later but but during this time like the little girl i've i've never met her in person at this time i've just always heard her over the phone because even like previous she talked to ty all the time but you was bold enough to oh i'm hungry can you you know like i can can ty cash at me some money and ty be like well i don't have no money he'd be like mom can you can you send little help for twenty dollars no even if i had it no but your parents said number one and number two i'm not feeding you like what i would look at ty like he was crazy because who who the who the who this fuck? Who you think I am? Who you think I am? No, because once you start feeding people char, like they here they come, they coming back. Like you you start out with a ten dollar meal, they coming for twenty and thirty and so forth, or they gonna keep asking you. It's like a repeated cycle. No. No. The ministry or no. Anyway, so he had told me like, okay, like she told me to blow up her, her Instagram. She told me to spam her Instagram. And so I spam her Instagram. He was like, and remember, you know, um, MC Cookie though, like they off, like they they not dating right now, like they supposed to be broken up because he cheated on her, like they supposed to be not together. He was like, so I got a message, I need you to read the message. So he gave me his phone, so I'm looking at his phone and I'm reading the messages in his Instagram DM. So in the DM, I wish I still had it. I wish I took a picture of it. Hi, editing angel here. How are you? <laughs> Now, I can't go back and get those um, messages in his DM because I'm like, just go to his Instagram, have him shoot the DM. Ty's, that Instagram got hacked, so he no, he no longer has access to that Instagram. I actually went and searched on my Instagram to see if I still had um, like the DM to that Instagram, but it just says Instagram user. So, that person completely shut down the Instagram, so I don't have access to it to get y'all the screenshots because y'all know I like bringing y'all receipts because I know, like, y'all give me the receipts. So I read the receipts than anything. Yeah. So in the DM, the little boy was like, Listen, I don't know who the you think you are, and I don't appreciate you liking my liking my woman's stuff and why you blowing up her instagram that's my job to do and if you you don't figure this out or you don't get your stuff together like i'm coming to find you me and the homies coming to find you you and the homies coming to find who you i says tyler this is a threat he was like, no, no, I think you're reading it wrong. My no, I'm not reading it wrong. This is a threat. This is a threat. I said, so hit her up and let her know this is not cool. I said, or then again, like, ask her, like, because maybe she don't know. Maybe, maybe she don't know that he hitting you up. So, hit her up and let her know, like, oh boy, it's sending this message. Like, screenshot it and send it to her. Like, let her know, like, hey, MC Cookie, though, is hitting me up in my DM. Like, what's going on? Because there's no way. 
there's no way so in my mind i'm trying to give a little help for the benefit of the doubt because it's like you set my son up you asked my son to spam your instagram to make mc cookie dough jealous you set my son up but i'm gonna try to give you the benefit of the doubt i'm gonna try to give you the benefit of the doubt little heifer so i'm gonna wait because y'all supposed to be friends y'all supposed to be real real cool so since y'all real real cool you're not gonna set my son up like that like you're not gonna play on his top like that you're not gonna play on my top because you should know how i am about my kid meaning i don't play with him when it come down to foolishness why in the entire would you think i would play with you anyway so so i was like yeah i'm gonna hit her up i'm gonna hit her up so he dm her and when you dm her she didn't respond like you read it she didn't respond then you text her and was like yo like what's going on like yo yo mc cookie though hit me up like far as i know y'all not together like what, what why he hitting me up like what's going on Do y'all know this little heifer responded back was like, yo, you know, that's my man. You know, you know, he's crazy. Like, why did you, like, I mean, why did you go so hard on my Instagram? Excuse me? Why did you go so hard on my Instagram when you asked me to spam your Instagram? When you asked him to blow up your Instagram? When you deliberately went out of your way to say, hey, you haven't shown me love on my Instagram? You asked him to spam your Instagram? Now he shouldn't have went so hard? Oh, no, you little nasty heifer. You set my son up. So you you use my son so he can make your little ugly MC cookie dough jealous so he can come back to you and make it seem like it's something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I said, she got 24 hours to clear this up. And if she don't, I'm going on your Instagram. I'm going on your Instagram. So she let shit chill y'all like she just let it go on the boy was in my son comments talking oh we coming to look for you oh it's out for you it's something on your head what what it's something on your head what and you pulling out you calling out this name or whatever affiliate situation that you have going on because it's youtube and i don't know what i can say so you whatever affiliate people that you hanging out like you putting all that in in the comments and you oh i'm coming for your head you don't mess with my woman first of all this ain't even your woman because you over here with the other girl but you talking to my son you threatening my son so there this is where you have a problem see a lot of times y'all little young kids don't even realize what other people been through and what other people done experienced and the whole time you thinking his mama lay back chill because she be chilling whole time she got a ghetto side and who the f you think you talking to because i'm with what's wrong with you baby so you ain't clear it up time's up so my turn my turn so i politely got tyler's phone and let him know i was like listen i gave you time to clear it up i gave you time to get this situation together i gave her time to get the situation together and she set you up she's not your friend she's not your friend so i gave you time to clear this up so since you're not gonna clear it up here my turn so i went on tyler's instagram and politely made a post I don't know who the you think you talking to or who the you think you playing with but that one that right there this boy this one right here you not about to do that I said first of all little girl told him to blow up her Instagram and since she told him to blow up his Instagram and clearly she didn't communicate with you that she told him to blow up the Instagram matter of fact y'all not even supposed to be together but this threatening bullshit that y'all got going on I'm not the one or the two or the three or elemental P. We not playing them games. We not in elementary school. I ain't the one. So what we about to do is get your ish together. Because what you not going to do is threaten my son. So once you threaten my son, I'm coming for you, your mama, and everybody else. I ain't with no gang. I'm running by myself. How you want to do this? How you want to do this? And I tagged him. 
How you want to do this, little buddy? Little buddy deleted all his comments. So now, typhoon blowing up. Guess who calling? Little heifer. You had 24 hours to clean this up. Before you even called him, before I even responded, before I even made the post, I told Ty, and I was trying to tell Ty, like, listen, this girl ain't your friend. She set you up. She played you. She asked you to blow up that stuff so he will be jealous, so he can get a response. So she can, oh, he loves me. He loves me. And this is what I hate about you, young heifers. And it's not even just young heifers. It's some old heifers who do that shit, too. That shit is real dangerous. And y'all be putting a lot of people in danger playing like that. Y'all be putting a lot of people in danger because you, your little ego, your little insecurities be coming into play. And then you playing with people's life. Because that boy was threatening my kid. Threatening my kid. Now, what if he was really about that life and would have made true on his words? You got my kid in some mess over BS. Over BS. Because you mad because he want to go somewhere else. Your first inkling was if he did not respect the fact that you wanted to keep your virginity and he wanted to just beat up your body, he wanted to beat up your box and you needed to prove that, to prove that you love him, sweetheart, that's, you should have let him go anyway. You should have let him go anyway. But now you got my son in this foolishness and then he talking about, you talking about taking, putting something on my son's head. Matter of fact, you said that you put something on my son's head about messing with your lady. Even though your lady asked him to blow up on Instagram. She knew what the, she was doing. Because there's another incident with how this little heifer was calculated. Mind you, because my son at this time, this is after his birthday. It's, this is because I just did the story time the poisonous cup. Perfect. So this is after that incident, y'all. Remember, Ty had a girlfriend. So they were talking. Like, the girlfriend was, like, talk. this was before, right? Yes, this was before the party. So, I had a girlfriend. Now, this situation happened before Ty's birthday. So, I had a girlfriend. They were chilling or whatever. People knew. Not everybody knew big time, but you knew, little helpful, because y'all talked about everything, so to speak. So, you knew Ty had a girlfriend. This incident had already happened. Y'all had already made arrangements or came up with an agreement of how, what was Instagram etiquette as far as when one or the other was in a relationship, right? So, when you wished my son happy birthday, you put on there, happy birthday to my husband. Hold on. So I got a girlfriend. Y'all already had a conversation about how etiquette is supposed to go. So now he couldn't call you babe or love on Instagram, but you can say husband. Then you posted a picture with y'all together and the whole time so I got a girlfriend. I said tight. This girl is not your friend. Let her go. Let her go. She's manipulative. She's conniving. She's calculate. Let her go. Anyway, so after I made the post on Instagram to MC Cookie Dough, here come Lil Heffa with, oh no, oh no, can I talk to your mom? Please, can I talk to your mom? Let your mom know, like, it's not like that. Please let her know it's not like that. Please let her know, like, I apologize. Like, I promise you it wasn't like that. I promise you I didn't, I, it wasn't a setup. It wasn't like that. No, sweetheart, it was a setup. Because you didn't tell MC Cookie Dough that, hey, I asked him to blow up my Instagram. You just mysteriously let that slide. You just mysteriously forgot. Oh my God. I told him to blow up my Instagram. You let that play out because you wanted him to be jealous. You wanted him to feel the way. You wanted him to, oh, he loves me because he went and came after your friend that you set up. 
you set your friend up. Now, if something would have happened and it would have went too far, and he would have did something to my son, bitch, I was coming after you. Fuck little MC Cookie, though. I was coming after you. And still to this day, I don't like you. I can't stand you. And I know you probably still watch it from the background. I hate you. Because you nasty. Your spirit nasty. You disgusting. I can't stand females who do like that, who put men in danger, who go above and beyond just because you want to feel secure or you want a feeling because, oh, he loves me, he loves me because he doing some bullshit, some trap bullshit. Or you putting your brothers in danger because you done lied and you done said some stuff. What if something really happened to my son? What if he didn't have parents who didn't pay attention? Or was it? what if he wasn't comfortable enough to come to me today to say, Hey, Ma, like, am I reading this right? Because your boyfriend threatened And you sat back and thought that shit was cool. You thought it was cute. Because now MC Cookie, though, is all over you. And then, lo and behold, he dogged you. Dogged you. Dogged you. I said that to say this. This story time is not long. It was straight to the point. Men, if y'all get a feeling, I know y'all be quick to say women got women intuition. Men don't have men don't have that. That's a lie. Y'all don't say intuition. Y'all say something don't feel right. Something feel off. I got a feeling. Mm, maybe I shouldn't follow that. Follow that. Follow that. Stop feeling like you got to stay. Y'all be quick to, uh, them girls be quick to call the police on y'all. Call the police on them hoes. Like, what, what? what's the hold up? Equal opportunity around this month. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all be letting some females slide with too much stuff. Real talk. Learn from that situation in Chicago. How that girl backdoor him and set that dude up. Learn. Please, it's not worth it. They looking for her. I don't even know where the little girl at. Hopefully, the little girl is fine to be true to, to be told. But was it worth it? Your face all over the place. Your family worried about you. Yeah. Like, they know where your family... Was it worth it? Stop playing with people because you insecure. Or you want your dude to love it. Oh, he loved me. He loved me. I just want him to prove it. And the whole time he with somebody else. And you setting my kid up because you want him. I, I want you to spam my Instagram. <sighs> yeah. So this is just a quick little story. Some of them I wanted to give um, basically to show love to my subscribers and to my supporters. And I want to come in and do an extra little video off the schedule. Give y'all a little surprise Saturday story time. And this fits in perfect with the story time on Friday. I appreciate y'all for supporting me. We are at 1,200 subscribers and I am ecstatic. I so appreciate y'all. I really, really do. So, yes, that was the story time of the Instagram setup. I love you the most because you're definitely the dopest in real life. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Be careful out there, fellas. Be careful. Yeah.